Sham's house, his office and his gym are all equidistant from each other. The distance between any two of them is 4 kilometers. Sham starts walking from his gym in a direction parallel to the road connecting his office and his house and stops when he reaches a point directly east of his office. He then reverses direction and walks till he reaches a point directly south of his office. The total distance walked by Sham is, right? What is the total distance walked by Sham? So let's try and understand the first statement. It says Sham's house, his office and his gym are all equidistant from each other. Now, now tell me when is it possible that three points are equidistant from each other? This is like a general question, right? There are three points. All the three are equidistant from each other, meaning the distance between any two points is constant. That can happen only when we make an equilateral triangle. You understand? So these are the three points we can say, right? Like one of these points is his house, the other one is a gym, and the third one is his office. All three are equidistant. All right? So let's say uh, this is his house, here is the office, and here is the gym. Okay? All three are equidistant. And, and the distance between any two of them is four kilometers, right? The distance between any two of them is four kilometers. So that's like an equilateral triangle uh, with, with side of length four kilometers. So this is four kilometers, right? Or, or let me actually make a triangle, right? Just give me a second. I'll I'll make a proper equilateral triangle so that it's easy to proper as in not a equilateral triangle to scale, but yeah, the one which looks like. So four kilometers is the distance between any two points here, right? These three are the equidistant points, right? These three points are equidistant from each other. Now, it says Sham starts walking from his gym in a direction parallel to the road connecting his office and his house and stops when he reaches a point directly east of his office directly east of his office. I think, uh, pardon me, I'll, I'll just uh, draw it once again. It looks like I need to draw a smaller triangle so that the space here is sufficient, right? Yeah, so let's say this is how it looks like, right? Each length is four kilometers. Now, uh, he starts walk it, walking from his gym. So let's say he starts walking from his gym and he walks in a direction parallel to the road connecting his office and his, so let's, let's assume that this is the gym. See, you can take any point as anything, but take it in a way that you follow the statements, right? So he started walking from his gym in a direction parallel to the road connecting his office and his house. So this is the road that connects his office and his house, right? And stops when he reaches a point directly east of his office. So he is, let's say, walking this way. He should reach east of his office. So I think we can consider this as office and house, right? So his house, gym and office. Now he starts walking from his gym in a direction parallel to the road connecting his office and his house. So this is the road connecting his office and his house. I mean, a road parallel to the road connecting his office and his house. You understand? This dotted line here is supposed to be the uh, parallel to HO, right? Parallel to HO. So that's what we are trying to do, right? And he stops when he reaches a point directly east of his office. See, this is his office and east of his office would be in this direction. So he stops at a point when he's directly in the east of his office. So he should be in this line. Understand? He should be in this line. You getting it? So I think this is the stopping point. He starts from his gym and covers this much. So he's gone in this direction and stopped here. Now, what is the distance that you think he's covered already? Four kilometers because these two lines are parallel to each other and he has to reach a point which is directly east to his office. So that can happen only when, you know, you make a parallelogram. You understand? So basically we can say that he has covered four kilometers to reach this point, right? He has covered four kilometers. This is four kilometers and he has reached a point which is directly east to his office. Now, what does he do? East of his office. He has reached this point. Then he reverses direction. He then reverses direction. So he was moving in this direction now. Let's say it's like north, moving northeast to be very precise. But yeah, he, he is moving northeast. He reverses his direction. So he's now turning back. He comes like this. All right. And walks till he reaches a point. So he started walking back. He walks till he reaches a point directly south of his office. See what is directly south of his office? Directly south of his office would be in this line somewhere in this line. You understand? Like this is the east of his office. So we, he walked till he reached directly east of his office. So he'll stop here. Now he's going to walk till he reaches the south of his office. So he has reversed his direction. He comes back to this point, right? He reverses his direction and walks till he reaches the point directly south of his office. So he's reversed his direction, come back, comes back to this point, comes back to the gym again, and then continues because he has not yet reached the south of his office. He has to reach the south of his office, right? So he continues, right? And he travels like this. And he stops here. Now he stops here finally, right? Because he has reached south of his office, right? He has reached the south of his office. This is south of his office and this is the east of his office. So the question asked here is the total distance walked by Sham. What is the total distance walked by Sham? I, I think this is fairly easy, right? I mean, if you observe, 
he covers four kilometers from let's say these points are m and n right m and n so from g to m he covers four kilometers again when he reverses his direction and comes back from m to g it is four kilometers again right and then g to n the question is how much is g to n now if you observe i mean this is like a very symmetric diagram right it is like a rhombus right so if this is four this also has to be four while well, in the diagram looks like this leg is longer gn is longer than go but you know that it will be four kilometers right so what is the total distance covered by sham total distance covered by sham is four plus four plus four twelve option four should be the answer right total distance is i mean i'll just give you the coordinates gm plus mg plus gn so this is like three fours right three fours is twelve you don't have to write this step in the exam. You won't be awarded extra marks for this, right? Cut down the number of steps that you put on paper. And I'm sure it won't take so much of time. I mean, you will not be doing all this drama in the exam, right? Draw an arrow, write east, then draw an arrow like this and say south, then draw an equilateral triangle so precisely, all these dotted lines and all that, right? Cut down that uh, unnecessary stuff, right? The more you write on paper, the more time it takes. Anyway, the answer is 12 kilometers, right? Mg plus gm plus gn. Right? Total distance walked by Sham. So 4 plus 4 plus 4. 12 kilometers. Option 4.